Okay, I'm going to cover the last two sections. Um, it's estimates in order of magnitude calculations and significant figures. I'm going to, uh, that's uh, 1.5 and 1.6. I'm going to cover them together. Um, so we're going to start with orders, estimates and orders of magnitude calculations. And uh, basically, it's, it's kind of a, a matter of rounding, but everything's going to be in powers of 10. So if we look at uh, 0 .0086, uh, that's closer to 0 .001 than it is to 0 .001. So it would be uh, on the order of 10 to the minus 2 um, uh, meters. 0 .0086 meters is on the order of 10 to the minus 2 meters. 0 0.0021 is more on the order of 10 to the minus 3 meters. In other words, the 0 0.002 is closer to 0 0.001 than it is to 0 0.010. So it would be on the order of 10 to the minus 3 meters. 720 is closer to 1,000 than it is to um, 100. So we would, that's, we would say that's on the order of 10 to the 3 meters. And that's... We, we use these to, to come up with a ballpark figure to, to know that if you're calculating, especially when we get into some of the electromagnetic uh, calculations where you have a, an expression of 10 to the minus 19 uh, for, for a charge uh, multiplied by the speed of light or wh whatever, these, these are, uh, it's good to use these orders of magnitude calculations to know whether you're in the ballpark if you're expecting something if you you do an order of magnitude and you, you figure it's going to be on the order of 10 to the minus 6 and you perform your calculation and you come up with 10 to the 16 uh, for your final answer you figure you must have done something wrong so it's just kind of a check um, to to, to give you a, a ballpark uh, to shoot for. Um, okay, significant figures. This is the last section, significant figures. Um, and I, I see students struggling with this, so we're gonna work, continue to work on this in the, the next lab that we do, uh, experiment two. But um, this measurement of this uh, uh, Blu-ray disc is uh, six centimeters plus or minus 0.1 centimeters. Um, so it could be anywhere from uh, 6.1 um, centimeters to 5.9 centimeters. And that's, it's, it, so there's two significant digits here. Um, okay, let's, uh, how many significant figures are here? Well, the fact that it doesn't have a decimal place after, if it had a decimal place after the second zero, you know, one five zero zero point, then I would say, well, that's four significant figures. But looking at this, I would guess that this is only um, uh, two significant figures. And so you can, you can use the uh, scientific notation to help you. And you can see here, this is the um, 1.500 times 10 to the three uh, grams is four significant figures. 1.50 times 10 to the three is, uh, uh, three significant figures. Uh, 1.5 times 10 to the two, that's only two significant figures. And when we, whenever we do calculations, if you have a, if you have a calculation and you're multiplying all these calculations, then one of your measurements is only two significant figures. You can't have more than two significant figures in the final answer. Now, you can carry more significant figures as you're doing your calculations to eliminate rounding errors. But, um, you want, when it comes to the final answer, your final answer should have no more significant digits than, than the least uh, significant digits in any one of the values that you're calculating. Um, so here, we're looking at 2.3 times 10 to the minus four, that's two significant figures. So it's 0 0.0023. Now if we write that 2.30 times 10, to the minus four, that's three significant figures. So you have to, you have to add this uh, significant figure afterwards to indicate the uh, three significant figure precision. 
these leading zeros, they mean nothing. This, the fact that this is 0 0.0023, that does not make it a four significant, fig four significant figures. These are just placeholders. Uh, these are just placeholders. They're, they're, they're not significant digits. This, this tells you more that it's two significant figures. Okay, let's, uh, I think this is a repeat of what I just said. When multiplying several quantities, the number of significant figures in the final answer is the same as the number of significant figures in the quantity having the smallest number of significant figures. The same rule applies to division. So if you've got uh, three significant figures times three significant figures times two significant figures, your final answer should only have two significant figures. Uh, because the two is the smallest significant figures of, it, of each of those factors. Okay, um, here's an example. The area equals pi r squared. Uh, pi is a very accurate number to multiple digits. Um, times six of uh, pi uh, times 6.0 centimeters squared. Um, now that's only two significant digits, even though pi, I mean, if you want to, you can say 3.14159 uh, is a good estimate, but I mean, you just use pi on your calculator most likely. Uh, but the 6.0, that's only two significant figures. So there can only be two significant figures in your answer. And that's why we have 1.1 times 10 to the two uh, centimeters squared, even though your answer might say, uh, uh, 113.097335, that doesn't mean anything. Your calculator answer it does not, uh, is not the final arbiter of how many uh, significant figures you use. You have to use your head and look at the one, the number that has the least number of significant figures. Um, so it's not 113. Now, I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna count it answers wrong if you, if you, put 113, but try to get into the habit of only putting the significant figures uh, the, uh, of the smallest significant figure in any of your calculations. Uh, so there, they're circling the 1.1 times 10 to the two centimeters. Now, when numbers um, are added or subtracted, the number of decimal places in the result should equal the smallest number of decimal places of any term in the sum or, or difference. Um, so 2.32 plus 5.174 equals 3.0 equals 28.374. Uh, 23.2 has one decimal place. So the sum is equal to 28.4. You have to drop the, you can round it, but you drop these two digits here. When numbers are added or subtracted, the number of decimal places in the result should equal the smallest number of decimal places of any term in the sum or difference. Well, this one has three decimal places. This one only has two. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. This one has three. This one only has one. So you can only have one decimal place. Uh, here you have, a, um, you have four decimal places here, four decimal places here. Uh, so you can keep the 1.0004. Um, here you have 1.002 minus 0 0.998. Um, each of these has uh, three decimal places. And so you can keep the three decimal places, 0 0.004. Uh, in this book, most of the numerical examples and end of chapter problems will yield answers having three significant figures. When carrying out estimation calculations, we shall typically work with a single significant uh, figure. That's for estimation. Uh, okay, and I don't particularly care. I, I like the traditional, um, if it's five or greater, you round up. If it's four uh, or, or lower, you, you, you drop it. Uh, the last digit dropped is greater than five. They increase the last re retained digit by one. So in other words, 1.346 becomes 1.35. The, the six ups that four to a five. The last digit drop equals five, increase last retained rounded to the nearest even number. Uh, 1.345 becomes 1.34. I don't like that. I would automatically call that 1.35. I differ from the author. 
in that uh, regard. And that, that's the typical way of rounding. If the last digit dropped is less than five, then leave the last retained as is, 1.343 becomes 1.34. Uh, again, when you're doing calculations, try to leave as many significant digits in your calculator so that you can minimize rounding errors. And that's the end of the, uh, uh, this chapter one. Oops. There we go. There's the...